all right welcome to this tutorial you guys in the last tutorial we went through and we made our um axios call more dynamic and now we are using this registry.json to hold our configurations for our apis that we want to forward our requests to so now there's a glaring problem with what we just did uh, if you guys don't see it is this axios.git so right now we can only accept git requests um, through this um, API gateway which is not ideal you want to be able to call any um, HTTP method that you want to call to get to your API so it doesn't really matter what you call you should be able to forward it all right so we're gonna go ahead and fix this problem the way we will do this is by changing the way we're doing our axios call so first things first let's demonstrate the problem with this so we're going to go to our server js in our fake api um, project and then we're going to change this app.get to an app.post for the bogus api call so if we save this and we stop our fake api service and restart it all right i'm going to clear this and i'm going to also clear this now we have a post request to this bogus api so now if we try to call this bogus api with curl and we're going to pass in a post request because that's what this is http forward slash local host and then we're going to go 3000 and then we're going to go test api and then the path which is going to be bogus api if we make this call we get a nasty error even though test api exists we can't make a post call on axios.git it's just not going to work so in order to get around this we're just going to pass in every thing from this request so basically we're really going to literally just forward whatever this request is the way we're going to do this is by first let me grab this because we're going to need this later. So I'm just going to copy this. Um, we're going to get rid of this dot get method. Now, if we just call Axios as a method, we can go ahead and pass in the configuration basically for that um, request. So the first thing we're going to need is the method. And our method is going to be whatever the request method is. So we're going to go request.method. All right. So now we're getting the method from the request. So it doesn't matter what the method is. It could be a git, post, um, update, delete, anything. Or it's a put, not update. I'm sorry. It's a put. Um, any of those methods will just be forwarded. We don't care what it is. Just go ahead and make that request. Whatever the user is trying to request, that's what we're going to request. And then from here, we need to give it a URL, which is what I copied earlier before we delete that. So this is just the URL we're getting from the services. And then we're adding on the path to it. And then we need to go ahead and have, add the headers. So the headers are just going to be what comes from the request. So we're going to pass in request.headers. And then last but not least, we need to pass in any data that comes in. So it'll be the request.body. So if we're doing a post nine times out of 10, you're going to have some type of data that you're passing in. And that data will be coming from the request body. So now we have a pretty much a fully dynamic um, API gateway, at least as far as the calls go. So let's go ahead and try to forward this bogus API again. And now we get bogus API says hello. So this is exactly what we wanted our API gateway to do. So, um, so far we have created our API gateway. We have allowed dynamic calls through using this registry.json file, which is going to hold all of our configurations. And now we can make any type of HTTP request through our API gateway. So from here, um, this is pretty much 
it's the, the simplest version of an API gateway that you can get. Um, so from here we can add um, automatic registry where whenever you fire up a, an API you can have it automatically register itself with our registry. So I think we should do that next and that is the end of this tutorial. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, like and subscribe and all that jazz and I will see you.